Hey guys, I know it's been such a long time since I've done a YouTube video. I've been, if you follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, or Facebook, you've seen more content there. But don't think I forgot about you guys. It's just that it's just been a hassle, like really finding a place to set up the camera. Since there's not a lot, a lot of like good natural lighting in my apartment. Um, I just, if you guys didn't know, I just moved to the apartment in the beginning of the year. I know it's been like six months, but. I finally figured out why don't I just do it right here in this awkward position on my couch, right? Anyway, guys, today's video is gonna be really short and it's just to to explain to a lot of you. Um, or to give you guys advice on those of you who are just starting your fitness journey and that advice is on things to avoid if you guys hear that noise is my alarm I'm just really lazy to change the battery, but try to ignore it if you could just try to em envision like a lot of pineapple and pizza Anyway guys this video is just to um, give you a couple of pointers on things to avoid So you're so you don't make the same mistakes that I made when I first started my fitness journey and one of them and it's gonna be the most important or one of the most important. I can't say it's the most important because there's a lot of important things, whatever. It's really important that you guys don't compare yourself to anybody. Trust me, I used to do that and I was never happy with my progress because I just felt like I wasn't good enough compared to that person I used to, I would look up to. And what I'm trying to say is try to just focus on improving because you're gonna wake up in the morning and you're gonna notice that you've lost some weight, your butt looks bigger, whatever, and you're gonna, Tell yourself that it's not good enough, that that you're not happy with it because you don't look like that girl you look up to. That's why it's important that you guys focus on yourself and just work on being the best version of yourself because if you constantly try and look like somebody and constantly compare yourself to someone, you're never gonna be happy in this fitness journey. And this fitness journey is a long journey, guys. Like, I'm sorry to break it to some of you, but it's gonna be a long journey because there's gonna be things along your journey that you're gonna be like, all right, now I think I need to work on this. Like, there's always gonna be something. Trust me. The other thing is, for, you, for those of you who are trying to lose fat, um, the biggest thing is weights. You have to lift weights. You can't just rely on cardio and think that cardio alone is gonna help you get there. Cardio does burn calories, yep, that's correct. But what it doesn't do is burn body fat. Now let me explain. Muscle is what you need to build in order to burn body fat because you could do a bunch of cardio, you could lose weight, but you're gonna have all this loose skin and you don't want that. Trust me, if you ask anybody who's lost so much weight and they have all this loose skin, if you tell them what, what do they do, they're gonna be like, oh, I just did a bunch of cardio. And that's what you don't wanna do. You don't wanna do just a bunch of cardio. You wanna mix it in with mostly weights though, rely more on weights and then cardio if you have time, but don't don't prioritize cardio over weights, never. And the last thing that I wanna give you guys a tip on is your diet, because the eating part is the most, I would say it's the hardest part, only because you deal with it so many times during the day, you know, if you eat four times, five times, six times a day, it's always gonna be like a battle, like, oh damn, should I eat this? I'm hungry, should I eat that this time, or should I eat this? Like, it's gonna happen throughout the whole entire day for years. So, one thing you wanna avoid is a diet that restricts you from eating anything. If a diet says you can't eat bread, or you can't eat fruit, or you can't eat past six, like, that's bullshit. Trust me, when, you, when it comes to nutrition, you could eat practically anything you want. Of course, most of it has to be healthy because you still want to be healthy. But you don't have to restrict yourself from something because if you restrict yourself yourself from something, just say you do it for a month, you restrict yourself from pizza and that's your favorite, all-time favorite food. You restrict yourself from chocolates for a month and you lose weight. That's good, but what happens is that once you eat that food again, you're gonna binge eat and then you're gonna overeat and then it's gonna be a cycle going on for like years. Trust me, I went through it. I used to restrict myself from sugar and I was binge eating for like a year. And if that's happened to you, now you know why. It's because you're restricting yourself from something. Like restricting yourself is never good. You wanna eat things in moderation. If you can eat things in moderation, eat healthy and then eat some of the foods that you crave in moderation, you're gonna be happy with this finished journey and if you just compare yourself to yourself, improve yourself 
and you're in peace with yourself in this journey, it's, this, this journey is going to be a lot more fun than if you didn't do the, any of that stuff. So yeah, I think that about does it. Um, I just wanted to show some love to you guys who love pineapple pepperoni pizza. Those of you who don't, I don't really like you. Straight up. <laughs> and I hope you guys enjoy the video. Give it a thumbs up. Um, subscribe. And I know I say this a lot, but I'm really going to try my best to do more videos daily. And I have to hold myself accountable because I, I as a trainer, I expect you guys to be consistent with the gym, the workouts, and as as your as your trainer, I expect myself, I, I expect to be held to the same standards. Like I'm, I need to I need to be out there more with you guys to like keep you guys accountable, make sure you guys don't mess up, and just try my best to transform everyone who watches these videos because that's my goal. When I started my first, my um, YouTube video, when I started my Instagram, all that stuff. It was to help as many people as I can, share my knowledge, share my workouts, help people transform with my words, my workouts, all that good stuff. I'm out.